Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bray Torrin and welcome back to Humankind. So, last episode sure was an absolute disaster. It was a mess, man. It was actually quite challenging to get all that edited together and kind of pick what to, to put in there and what not to, because I think I had total, like, two and a half hours worth of content <laughs> in, in between all the videos I had recorded, and much of that obviously did not get put in that video, because, uh, you know, it was that finale video that we ended up not using. Uh, so... Uh, just an absolute mess. Hopefully, we don't run into that issue too many more times. We've already seen it one more time in the in the like back end of that last episode, so it might be a consistent issue. Uh, but hopefully, it, we were able to like load up as we were that time and not have any any issues. Uh, now, one thing to address here is we we have this war with the Aztecs. I talked about quite a bit in the last episode, probably too much. Uh, but we have this war with the Aztecs here that I'm trying to figure out how to not lose it uh, due to the the war support. And one thing I completely disregarded, didn't even think about at all, it didn't come to mind, is the fact that we have the traitor trait, which means that we get war support when destroying an enemy district. We can actually see that with these guys here because we destroyed a district of theirs. And that would be enough to like keep us in an extra turn, which we only need a few extra turns, I think. So it would be really, really helpful uh, if we had uh, taken advantage of that. I had several people in the comments mention it, but that wasn't until last episode, probably because I talked about it so much. And so it's probably too late at this point. We only have four turns left. All of your units have already moved, so there's not really anything you can do here. You can't even switch these guys to another location, I don't think. You might be able to switch them to another location, but it's still, it's ten turns. So you got to wait for these guys, and even then, it's not going to be enough time to, to ransack one of these districts. The only thing I can hope for is that this ship would be able to do it. Uh, maybe ransack the harbor. I don't think there's anything else to, to ransack out here. Maybe they could ransack the harbor in a reasonable time. They'd only have three turns to do it. They've already used their movement points, so probably fairly unlikely. I think it's too late to take advantage of that. Uh, so, you know, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, these guys, I think we had them set up to move right there, but why not just have them go through the harbor and uh, move over here? But yeah, just a, a real shame, guys, uh, that we, uh, you know, didn't, didn't think of that earlier where we could have used it. Uh, but again, with the three turns left, I think it's a pretty sure thing that we are going to lose here. Uh, the Norsemen went with the Germans. That seems like a good fit for them. Uh, they just entered the industrial era. And we no longer have our open borders with them. Okay. Uh, we got microbiology, which, you know, has several advantages for us, uh, particularly when it comes to, like, stability. Uh, just the population alone is going to get stability for us now. One plus stability per population. It's going to really help in those larger cities like Cairo, which happen to be the ones that were having some stability issues before. Uh, as far as what we're getting next, I'm thinking going after the combustion engine. We need uh, oil for several things, and we can't access it yet, so it makes sense to get that next. There's a, a several options, really, though, that we could go for here. I think that's the one that's going to make the most sense. So let's go to get combustion engine. We're going to get that in two turns here, so not bad. But you get that builder star from getting enough uh, districts, so... We can only earn one more star in this air from building districts. You get that at 246, and that would get us 299 more fame. Uh, we're sitting at 7100 now, so less than 400 points below second place. Definitely moving up there. All right, so we're going to be continuing our war against the Brazilians. Hope it continues to go well. And these units did not move. Okay, they feel pretty confident here. They do have a strong fleet, and they'll get the assistance of these guys. Uh, but remember, they do have to go into the sea, which takes a turn. Now they can fire at us from over here, so you want to keep your ships back, which is why we wanted to attack from this direction. Like so. So that we're, you know, farthest away. And so that's how we're going to do this, guys. I don't think he can retreat again. So I'm hoping we can get these units, land units, destroyed at sea. Now, it is saying that we're weaker, and maybe we are. Um, you know, just straight combat strength because they have these two armies here. But I think as long as we stay away from the land here and then try and sink any of their ships that go into the sea, I think we'll be in a good spot. Could be difficult to do. I think this fight's going to be difficult. Uh, but I think it's worth it just because of the sheer power of these two armies. Uh, 427 combat strength and then whatever they have, which is probably a bit more. Uh, maybe not. No, they got a lot of knights. Uh, so it's maybe a little bit less. 
Uh, we're still looking at maybe 700 something, 800 total combat strength. Uh, so I feel like this is worth it, sinking these guys in the sea. Uh, now, remember, they can shoot at us, but they can't move and shoot. None of these units can move and shoot at the same time, except for the Dragoon. He's the only one that's going to be able to move and shoot. Uh, as far as their range goes, I think uh, just four range for these guys, eight for them, so they'll likely be able to fire on our ships the entire time. Yeah, they'll probably be able to fire on us the whole time. They could do some damage. Uh, but we're going to be focusing probably on these ships first and then trying to sink any units as they go into the sea. Uh, remember, it takes a full turn for them to do that. Uh, yeah, we're going to go and do this manual battle here and just hope we win. Remember, we have the reinforcement fleet to help us out. And we'll be, able to kill it. We'll be able to attacking first, so we'll be able to kill a unit. Well, I don't know. We'll have to see. But the bigger ships will be able to kill one unit with each attack. Alright, so as far as how we want this to look... Where are the uh, reinforcements? Are they all in this battle? It looks like they're all in the battle already. Okay, so we don't have to, to bring them in. As far as where we want to put our units, if they move over here, they can hit units. So you want to be up this way, and the, so they got to move this way, and then that's one, two, three, four. Even then, you still want to be in this back line. So probably want to like retreat and fire where possible. And then you, which units do you want to get hit by the land? Because these ones will take the most damage, but these are also your most powerful units here. So it might be better to have the bigger units in the front. Yeah, perhaps that's the best way to go. Uh, but let's go ahead and take these units and get them moving over this way. We want to get them as far away from... Let's put this guy over here. But yeah, as far away from those land units as possible. I mean, no matter what, they're going to be able to hit us. I think being over here is actually further. Oh, no, we want that guy there. And this guy over here. Just as far away from the, the coast as possible. So yeah, like right over here I think would be better. Yeah, I think this looks good. We got one more spot actually. One thing to consider though is that the units won't be able to uh, fire from behind each other. But what we could do is like... Hmm... We'll just keep them here like this for now. But I assume they're going to have some over there. Yeah, let's just keep them like this for now. We'll see how we want to do this. But let's just try and keep them away from these land units here. I would just like to prefer to keep the Dragoons and the Musketmen from being able to fire on us. One, two, three, four. I mean, it might, if they go over here, they'll likely be able to fire on them. Uh, but we're not going to be able to avoid the, the fire from the howitzer. Uh, so let's go to enter deployment. They are all over here. That's actually pretty good because that means we might be able to bring our ships over this way and keep the minimal amount of ships over here, just enough to try and sink any ships that go into the sea, I suppose. Uh, but really focus on these fire, uh, on the fire on these guys. Now, as far as the amount of damage that all these ships are going to do here in the sea, it's going to be the same because they're all the same ship. Though we can't actually see what that looks like. Uh, but yeah, we want to move over this way essentially. Hmm. That's strange. Like, why would this be outside of our line of sight if we move over here? I'm not entirely sure why that would be considered out of our line of sight. But yeah, it's not like telling us that we'll be able to shoot any of those. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why that is. Uh, we'll go here and see what the deal is. Yeah, we could fire on them. It's just not being accurate. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit. I mean, we want to make sure we combine our fire, so let me take a look how we want to do this. I don't think anybody else will be able to hit him, so there's no reason to shoot at him, because you're not going to be able to kill him. So let's just kill this guy instead. And we're just trying to kill... Oh, I shouldn't have done that that way. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I thought that was one of our uh, ironclads. I was like, oh, we should have used that guy on a new fresh unit. So let's use these ironclads first so I don't make any mistakes here. Oh, so we cleared that spot so I could have fired on him. We'll bring this guy over here. Remember, just trying to keep him far away from the units over here. Uh, right now, you could stand here and get one, two, three, four. Maybe hit that guy? One, two, three. May maybe not. I don't think you'd be able to hit him from here. So I think being over here, none of the land units should be able to hit us outside of the, the howitzer. So let's make sure we have another unit that'll be able to hit them, hit that guy. I think you'd have to put them here. Yeah, okay. 
Again, just trying to take out as many units as possible here in the initial attack. Got to completely kill them. They just... It just doesn't minimize the damage enough. And then these guys over here, you're going to want to put... Maybe a little bit further back in the fire on those, is what I'm thinking. Alright, so now we're going to move... Let's see, one, two, three, four, so right here. I suppose we'll just fire on this guy. And so it'll take one turn for each of these to go in the sea, and there's not a lot of options for going into the sea because of the cliffs here. So they won't even be able to bring very many units up to the coastline. So it's, it's really not as bad of a position as it may seem like it is. One, two, three, four. Okay, so right, right here is fine. And as far as who we want to shoot at, we're going to wait to see what's uh, what's open. All right, we can fire on that guy. We'll fire on him. And it looks like we didn't do enough damage to kill that unit. All right, that's unfortunate. We're not doing very much damage at all, actually. Okay, so that's not good. We're actually going to have to put this guy here just to get rid of him. That didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to. All right, so that's what we did, guys. We destroyed half of this fleet here on our initial attack. Not quite as much as I would have liked. And I think these guys from here might be able to hit us. Yeah, they can shoot right there. Okay, so moving here was one tile too close. Okay, so, you know, they've done a little bit of damage, but it wasn't too bad. Already our turn. Um, I'm not entirely sure why they didn't bring the rest of the units in. That was kind of foolish on their part. They really should have. I'm not sure what they were thinking here. Yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't bring more units in. Uh, that's, again, not very wise for them. Uh, we'll be able to kill this guy in one hit, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so that worked out very nicely for us. And... I think we can hit him from here, uh, but then you block this unit here. So that's something to consider. Let's actually fire with these guys first, and we're going to bring them back just a little bit. Again, try and stay away from them if we can. Uh, how many tiles can these guys fire? Four. So they can fire four on their own, so they have to be close enough. Yeah, I don't think about a completely avoid. One, two, three, four, five. We can just stay here. Yeah, we'll just stay here. Let's go ahead and start moving these ones forward just a little bit, make sure we're able to hit. We'll get that guy killed. And then, I was surprised that he was able to hit them, but one, two, three, four, they are within range. And then, I, I don't think, uh, I think this guy fired at this one here. And he did not do that much damage. One, two, three, four, probably can hit from right here. Yeah. Yeah, I want to make sure that every unit gets to fire. Uh, I don't think anybody can hit from here, uh, except for the, the you know, their artillery, which is not going to be able to avo be avoided. But this guy should definitely get further away. There's no reason not to be. One, two, three, four. We'll get that one killed. We're doing pretty good. We've almost got all these ships destroyed here. And then we'll start firing on him. And just need to get this guy within range without putting him into his range which you can always kind of see I suppose by seeing if he can hit us if he can hit us or excuse me if we can hit him then he can hit us because he has the same amount of points all right so I'm not sure if any of these guys haven't fired yet let's just go and confirm that they all have yeah okay so this will be the guy who's gonna kill him and so we have three ships remaining to start firing on him, which I think he's a little bit more deadly. And it's not let me move with him. Did he already fire? He already fired. So we only have two ships left. Okay, so two ships remaining. So let's go ahead and fire on him. Let's try and get him killed. Uh, he clearly does more damage than the uh, artillery does. All right, so he's dead. All the ships are dead. Thus, I still have the artillery and the musketmen, but if they only keep the musketmen, or only keep the artillery in the battle, then this is going to get quite a bit easier for us. 
And that's what it looks like they have decided to do. Though I don't think we can fire over this, so you actually have to go all the way around. Okay. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, you have to go all the way around, and you're not going to be able to do that with very many units. Okay. Uh, so it looks like we could probably get... Yeah, and these would be blocked as well. You have to... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how much you're going to get to fire on these guys. So you're going to want to make sure you have your more powerful units going over there. Some of these are pretty far away, though, so... I'll maybe bring one more, just in case we're able to. But yeah, this is going to be kind of challenging, I think. So what you'd want to do... I mean, you can only fire on one unit at a time, so we could just leave all these guys here, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, there's no way to fire over... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I thought there was a red there. I could try and see if we can fire over there, but I don't think so. We'll move up close. I'm pretty sure this hill here is going to block us. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely blocked by the hill there. So this might as well end our round. I suppose you can, like, move the unit closest who you want to be hit in order to alternate your units here. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Now, this battle did finish up, and so we have to finish it next turn. Which is unfortunate. We also got that last military star. That's excellent. Uh, so that's the last one. We have completed it. Cannot get any more military stars. We've gotten all the ones we can get in the game here. That puts us at 7,400 points. We're now less than 100 points behind second place. So I feel pretty confident we'll get second place here. Oh I mean, yeah, this is going to be a tricky battle, and you can always send in more reinforcements. Uh, but again, if we get two armies destroyed, then I think it's worth it. Uh, let's go and bring these guys over here. Replace some of those losses we might take in the battle. I don't know where their army went. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where that army went. I have one more turn here, so it could start ransacking something. I was going to go fight that army, but... Yeah, if they take off, then it's not really not it's not really an option. Yeah, they were over here somewhere. Yeah, we had a lot more power than them, so I definitely wanted to try and get them engaged. Uh, so these guys are fully healed, so we're just gonna have them come over here. They're gonna join with that army. In fact, we'll bring them one over, so they don't slow the army down at all. Once they finish that ransacking up, uh, does he have any more movement? He does not. Okay, so the elephants are just kind of stuck here, and I don't see any reason to bring them over here at this point. Because, uh, yeah, this war is just about over. Um, I'd love to get that guy upgraded, but that's going to be possible. How many turns? Five turns. Damn. All right, so that's not going to be an option. Uh, and then ransacking here, of course, is ten. If we did it together, uh, then you, you still couldn't get it done. It would, not be, uh, it would not be fast enough. I think five or six turns, probably six, maybe more than that in order to get one of these uh, districts destroyed. I don't think you get the points for destroying this. And again, we can't do it here. We don't have enough time. So this is, you know, the only way to win, since we can't increase our own war support, would be to uh, continue to decrease his by proposing the white piece. But we can't do because it's just so darn expensive because we've done it so many times. So again, I, I don't think there's any way to, to deal with this at this point. It's just too late in the game. So I suppose you could just have him... I mean, again, it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter, guys. I mean, you could ransack this, I suppose. Attack! Yeah, it's not going to have any real effect. We need to, to get a battle going, but, you know, we can't find it. Oops. We can't find any, uh, any ships or units to attack. Already tried going up this way. I doubt he's coming from that way. If he was to be sending some, something over here to help, you'd expect he'd go around this way. Although maybe he can't get through that territory there. Honestly, I don't think he's sending any troops over here. So I just I don't think there's any way to, to do this. Just come up over here, I suppose. Again, it looks at this point to be a, a defeat. Now, he won't be able to take any of our uh, territories. Uh, excuse me, any of our cities, but he will be to take our territories, uh, the outposts. Uh, we are destroying this. We're about to get that done in one turn. Okay. Although I think doing that would be a negative, wouldn't it? Doesn't, doesn't that, like, increase his own war support? I'm not entirely sure if that'll increase his war support or not. We've done it once before, and I guess it didn't. Uh, ransacking districts typically does, but because we're in possession of this, I don't think that counts. So I think what we're going to do, guys, I know we were going to ransack this in one turn, 
We're gonna go and ransack this one instead. We get that done in three turns, and the hope is that that'll be done right on the turn when we lose, because that's three turns away here. And thus, he loses this city completely, and I'm hoping that results in him not being able to take any of our territories, because he doesn't neighbor any. We'll just have to see, guys. Let's see how it goes. Now, when we destroy that, we're not getting any points either, but it's it's the end of that point, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get this guy... Yeah, we're probably going to start getting him moving to join one of our other armies. Uh, this army here, I think they already have elephants, right? They don't have elephants over here, but this is just the home defense army. Uh, I suppose they don't need to have elephants. I feel like everybody needs elephants, but <laughs> we need elephants over here more. Uh, so let me just see if we have them both armies. We clearly do not. We only have them one. I want to send them over to there. Uh, obviously, this is going to take a long time to get over there, even on the rails. I'm trying to get all the way over to here. I mean, you're looking at six turns, but he's mostly going by sea. I suppose he's probably safe to do that. We'll just have him move over here for now, and then we'll... We'll take a look at the situation at that point. Uh, so we have finished up with the market quarter. We're just going to keep on building money here, guys. Uh, yeah, let's go and do another market quarter. Uh, we get 26. Definitely a, a drop here, though, uh, from what we were getting. Uh, over here is fine, though. Yeah, you can get 31 over here. So we'll just keep on building over here, then. Yeah, we'll build right there. So yeah, just going to be very... New Cairo is going to be very much focused on money. Uh, Constantinople finished up their research quarter and again Constantinople has been focused on science and we'll continue with that and we're gonna continue getting huge amounts of science it looks like we're gonna put this one down I think you get science from that yeah so we'll go and put it down here you know if we ever build over this way you know get a nice adjacency bonus uh, Bangkok finished up that ironclad and we're probably gonna finish or, or excuse me continue Working on uh, units here. I always need more units. And we have the money to support them. So let's go and get another ironclad, I think. Or we could do an elephant as well. Because elephants. We'll do one more ironclad here, guys. Now, one thing to consider with our ironclads in that one battle here is that we... Uh, we weren't in the coastal territory, so if we had been in this coastal territory, they would have done more damage. But again, I was trying to keep all my units as far away from uh, those musketmen, which for whatever reason they didn't bring out. I guess so they couldn't destroy them. Uh, that's what I imagine they did, is just to keep us from uh, destroying those units. So that civic here, which we've been keeping the influence for the uh, Heash Treaty offers. Remember, we are trying to get that one civic for land rights. Uh, it would require 5,110 influence. So we'll see where we stand with the peace treaty. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think we'll win, but maybe we can stop them from taking territory. It's just such a bummer. But, you know, even if you destroy this, then you can set up outposts all along here, and it's fine. Maybe I should have done that from the get-go, but I was trying to keep the, the war support ticking down. That was the hope. But obviously that did not work out well for us, because he was only going down by four points while we ourselves were going down by three every turn and now I'm like hesitant on every turn here if it happens again then I'm, I'm gonna go to the understanding that it's just not only gonna be consistently happening but happening all the time like multiple times for video that's what it seems like now I've had a couple people tell me that this bug here the turn pending bug has resulted in them having to quit campaigns I don't know if that was because they couldn't get it to work as that you know I wasn't able to for a little while or if it's because it just keeps happening and then you can't continue that's what it seems like because yeah, it does seem that it's broken again <sighs> yeah definitely seems like it's broken again side, oh wait a minute I wouldn't oh no elegant, but it may teach them to keep their doors locked huh I mean, maybe it's working. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. I think this is just because this popped up when I got rid of these. I feel like it's the ransacking breaking things, guys. I mean, maybe it's just taking a long time, but I just don't have much patience for waiting for this anymore uh, because of how much I waited in that previous video. Yeah, it seems broken again. I feel like it's the ransacking because it's like every time we ransack something, it, it does it. All right, so it appears that that tactic worked again. So we're getting lucky here. Uh, saving while it's pending and then reloading is working. Again, I, I tried that when I first ran out of the bug and that did not help. So, we looks like it doesn't always help. The that we want. So he now wants to make peace. 
Um, this? From you? Could yeah, a white piece? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, so, of course, this is going to result in us losing war support every time he offers it. Uh, as you know, using the same tactic we've been using, he's going to lose any damn way soon. So, I am angry. yeah, we're going to go and refuse this that. Does little to appease me. Yeah, unless we keep on destroying districts here, we could find ourselves, you know, having this war forced to a stop, which is obviously not desirable. Uh, so we currently have two of these moving. I'm actually going to let them merge real quick so they're not traveling alone. But yeah, he thought that he was going to get a white piece out of this after I've just been wrecking him. You know what? We could have had to merge with this fleet, too. That would have been an option as well. There's nothing else to destroy over here, I don't think. No. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start moving down. I'm wondering what that is. What are they building here? Yeah, they're clearly constructing, or they were constructing something. Never mind. It's gone. Okay. Uh, so yeah, nothing to ransack over this way. Uh, but ransacking is, is quite helpful. Uh, we'll have these guys merge here. Uh, but quite helpful for keeping him into the war. Uh, we'll finish ransacking this here in one turn. I thought we already had only one turn left. That's strange. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, he does have one unit here that we'll be able to defeat. Though, defeating them isn't actually how we want to do this. Is this bringing in... It's bringing in more units here. Uh, looks like it brought in... A fleet as well. Yeah, there's another fleet over here. I don't know if you just built that. And then we also got those other units engaged here. Overall, it's saying that we're weaker, but it is considering the fleet. And I don't think the fleet will build a fire on us over here, so I think we'll be all right. So basically, the things to consider here is away from the walls, off of the river, on high terrain, and just hoping that they can't hit us. I don't think so. There's just too much in the way. I don't see how those ones would be able to hit us. So with that all in mind... I don't think we'll be able to, to stay off the rivers and off the, the walls. That's not going to be possible. There's only one tile here that's not covered. Uh, that's not doesn't have a unit on it. So yeah, you're not going to be able to do both of those. Let's go and move these guys uh, to the back there. And then as far as where we want them, I'll put them here. And I suppose having these guys here is fine. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Could put them up this way again. I don't really want them on the walls, though, if we can avoid it. So yeah, we'll just leave them here. Uh, these are, you know, pretty much the same situation here. Uh, so let's go ahead and end our deployment. Uh, we could move the units around, but I'm actually fine with the way they look. Though you might want the elephants up here in the front to make sure they're able to fire rather than the back here. Yeah, I suppose that would make sense. Like, maybe switch them up with... Who's weaker here? Uh, if we were to just compare, like... A level 2 and a level 2, 54, 53. So the dragons are the weakest. Uh, so we'll switch them out. Well, I guess these guys are technically the weakest, but that's that's fine. We want them to fight the horses. Uh, so let's go ahead and enter deployment. And may have some issues attacking these units that are behind the walls. Now we can fire on that guy. So let's go ahead and do that. Some elephants kicking their butt, Gatling guns. <laughs> and blow those guys away there we go beautiful uh, and then this guy should be able to fire on that unit though he's not going to do a ton of damage uh, so we're going to come up to the wall here I suppose I guess you're going to have to go up to the walls uh, we could also go seize that point but then you got to fight the fleet uh, which only two ships can fire on you okay so that's something to consider the rest of them can't even fire on you so you could go grab that point real quick but wouldn't be able to be with one of these guys because they would not be able to, uh... Hmm. Yeah, actually only one unit would likely be able to fire on you. So let's go ahead and move these guys over here in an attempt to seize the point. We also uncovered their cav unit. Alright, so that worked out. Because now we can attack with these guys here. We should do pretty good damage against them. Not enough to kill them. Yeah, we're gonna try and seize that flag on this one, guys. I think that's gonna be helpful. Uh, as far as them, can't shoot at them, they're just too far back. It's saying you can shoot at them there, but I don't think so, we'll see. 
Oh, we can. All right. Well, we'll do it with these guys then, because they can go across the walls here. Um, but they already fired. So they can't. They can't fire on them. I don't think you'd be able to fire on them. Well, maybe we're right here. Yeah. And then we'll hit them with the mortar as well. And then, uh, you know, he'll be at like half health or something like that. Two thirds health, maybe. There we go. Yeah, about two thirds health or so. All right, so I think it's their turn now. So this guy will be able to fire on these guys here. The ship would have to come over here. It looks like he can shoot at them. Okay, and he did significant damage as well. All right, so we've got to get rid of those ships, which maybe from here if they come in this way, but if they can fire on you from here, then you're not going to be able to. Basically, we got to get these guys out of here. Uh, I think we're about to lose this line infantry. I mean, he's very close to being lost, so we want to get him retreated. Uh, they also did some significant damage to the Dragoons here. Yeah, they did a lot of damage. And then they still have the anti-tanks as well, which might shoot at this guy here and take him out. No, it's our turn. All right, so we want to get the hell out of here and get as like, far back as we can. Looks like that's the, the furthest back we're going to get, unfortunately. We also want to go seize that point, though, so that's something to consider. Hmm. So you, you can go here, attack that guy and get him destroyed, but then you're not going to get the the flag until next turn. I suppose that's fine. Can't hit him because this guy's in the way. I, I figured we'd probably go over here. Yeah, it's just you got to get rid of those guys over there, those ships. Yeah, I guess we'll go home over here. No point on even firing on them right now. But yeah, this is, is going to be a rougher fight than I was thinking. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be kind of a rougher fight. I'm not going to do a lot of damage against them. These guys here are clearly going to need to retreat. You might be able to come over here and then fire on them so at least you can use the unit. Yeah, we'll be able to at least to use them. Not doing a ton of damage against this anti-tank gun because it's so much more modern. Here you're going to actually take more damage than you do. We might be able to move over to that area there. Let's go seize this flag real quick. Ah, this is a rough situation here, guys. Alright, we're going to attack him. Yeah, we're in a bad position overall. Killed that guy there. So you, you were able to kill the, the older units. As far as like their more modern units, they got the one-line infantry and the two anti-tank guns, and you can see we're not doing a lot of damage to the anti-tank guns. Yeah, it's it's just barely any. All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy moving further away, I suppose, just trying to make sure he doesn't get hit by anybody. Yeah, you're just not gonna do a ton of damage. Maybe you should focus fire and try and take these ships out because they might be the most powerful unit. You do have this guy here though, as well. Let's move right here and fire on him. No surrender. Now, overall, this is a rough position right now. Don't want to attack that way. That wouldn't work out well for us. Yeah, I feel like you got to fire on the ship to try and take him out. He's going to be the one doing the most damage. Yeah, he just didn't do hardly any damage there. And one unit hasn't fired yet, so we can go and fire on him or him. I suppose we'll fire on them. Because, yeah, these guys, they do have the range attack. I don't know how much damage they're going to do, though. Let me just take a look at this guy here. I guess we'll fire on him. That's fine. Yeah, we're just not doing much damage in any of our attacks. All right, so, yeah, this is going to be a much rougher fight than I was expecting. I'm wishing we had had the other units here for this, then. Yeah, he's going to come over here and likely very close to destroying that unit. He's at half and then he fires on him and he'll be at very low health, I think. They're not doing much damage to our units either. Yeah, this guy's in a rough spot now. Oh, they did kill the samurai. Okay. So this guy should be able to come in here, but I don't think he's going to do much damage, honestly. I don't think it's worth going in there. You're probably just sacrificing that samurai. But yeah, having these old, old units here... It's not working for us. Let's 
Don't fire on him. But yeah, a lot of these units are really old. You might be able to get him fired on if you're firing from this direction, but yeah, this is a, a rough position here, guys. I'm gonna shoot at him. And then, uh, I think we're gonna come in here and shoot at this guy. Just try and do a little bit more damage to him. And then, as far as, we can't kill either of them, unfortunately. We'll try and kill him. We'll do as much damage to him, I mean. So then you got these guys here, and you can go into the city, but... I think these guys will be able to fire on you, so I think you, you want to get the hell out of there. I think that's the only way to really go about doing this. Let's get these guys out of here now. We still have possession of the flag. They can seize it from us. I assume that's what they would do. And then maybe go ahead and attack. I'm not sure how the uh, the damage is going to look for us. It looks like it's going to be pretty bad. Yeah, it's going to be really bad. All right, so can't attack that way. Instead, you're going to have to like come into the walls over here. Yeah, but overall, this is uh, a rough fight, guys. Uh, let's try and get this guy back. Have him retreat every time after he finishes firing. But yeah, this is a rough fight. We might actually end up losing this. In fact, we could end up losing our entire army here. It does look like a real possibility. Yeah, real possibility we might lose one of our armies to the Brazilians. Yeah, they re the flag. I thought they might go back out there. So then the question is, is just which units can these ships hit, if any? Like, if we stay back here, can they even shoot at our units? Yeah, I tried to win by seizing the flag, but that clearly did not work. So what we might want to do now at this point is bring in reinforcements after this round here. It looks like we are safe from the ships up here. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Probably should have never came up over here. Yeah, I think that didn't work out well for us because the ships fired on us when before they wouldn't have been able to. And they did a lot of damage. Quite a bit of damage. I was thinking we wanted to fire on the ships from over here, but yeah, we probably should have wiped out the land units first and then focused on the ships. So now we're looking at three land units. Uh, we have another turn here. As you can see, they have more combat strength than us, but that's counting all those ships. And so what we'll probably end up doing is bringing these ones in here next turn to help us with the battle, if they can, if they can get over there. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a rough fight, guys. Um, probably won't lose the whole army, but, you know, because we can bring reinforcements. But we're going to lose more units, I think. Possibility. Uh, so yeah, that didn't work out well. Not well at all. So we might get our first defeat by the Brazilians, which is saying something. They've only got one. That would be our first victory, I think. It is raining outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Uh, let's go and upgrade these guys. Yeah, the rain is kind of loud out there, so hopefully that's not too loud in the video. But yeah, this is frustrating, man, because the whole reason why I did this is I timed it. Yeah. And, and the same thing happened over here. Uh, these guys got another turn added onto the ransacking here when we uh, had the bug where I had to reload. So I don't know, but it kind of feels like the bug is uh, adding a turn onto the ransacking. I don't know. Maybe that's not what the issue is. Maybe some other reason why the ransacking just increased. Uh, but yeah, that is kind of frustrating, guys. Fairly frustrating. Because now we won't get the ransacking done over here in time, essentially. Yeah, that won't happen in time. Now this one will get done. That doesn't really help us much. I mean, take out his outpost, but it doesn't help us when it comes to war spore. So I think now uh, he will be able to take territory, likely this one, maybe a few others. I think he can get up to, let's just take a look at what his current war score is, 146. I mean, yeah, he's going to be able to get several territories, most likely. Uh, we can can propose a white piece, so we're going to go ahead and do that, try and get his war score down a bit more. Again, this is mainly to take off the war score some. Just die. Cities burn. He did refuse, try so special. now he's going to lose a, a total of 9 points, I refuse your dropping him down to 18. But still fairly irrelevant. That's not enough, guys. And that'll be the last proposed white piece that we'll be able to do. Uh, so 14 points, I think, is, is around where he'll be at at the end. That's what it seems like. We do have a lot of money, guys. Uh, could be using that to race buildings, but again, I think the best thing to do is to, to save some of that. 
Yeah, I think that's our really our uh, best option. Uh, these guys aren't in our territories, can't do anything here yet. But yeah, save it for when we get that one uh, Civic. Uh, we did get the combustion engine, excellent. So that allows us to take advantage of our oil. Uh, as far as the next tech, could get the military coordination just to get the, uh, you know, just to get a tech done. It's one turn, just trying to get stars. Doesn't really have much of an advantage for us because we don't have the ability to get those howitzers. Nor would I want to, not if we're going to hopefully be able to get the artillery soon. If we can get that fuel taken advantage of, which we're going to try to do. Uh, could go ahead and do the aeronautics so that we can get our first planes. Get more influence, that'd be helpful. We always need more influence. Or just get like 100 fame as we're trying to increase our fame. Okay, so yeah, I think what we're going to end up doing, guys, uh, we could also get the amphibious warfare so you can get these units here, the rifles. Yeah, you know what? I think we might do that, guys. So we can get all our units upgraded. So we, we need to try and have a tech lead when it comes to the military, if we can. Got another potential grievance here. Honestly with each other. Okay, so they just annexed a... We can't do that while we're in, in war right now. Their current support right now is at 40. You know, we're able to keep that a little bit higher because we're ransacking those districts. Uh, got another unit here. Let's go and get them coming over this way. And then we're just going to have these guys start moving over here. I don't know if they'll get there in time to help in that battle. It depends on how long the battle takes place. Uh, these guys have finished ransacking, though. So what we're going to want to do is see if we can't get them into this battle. It looks like we should be able to, to support it. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is start bringing them in now. Although I'm not sure how to go about doing it just yet. Because you don't really want them sitting over here like this. Couldn't wait to move them into a better location, honestly. So we just needed to get them into the battle. So you're only going to be able to bring so many units at a time, essentially. All right, so let's go and take, yeah, let's put this guy in first. And I was going to try and get into the, into the wall, but yeah, that's not possible. Okay, so we'll have to go over here first. And thus, I think the cab unit would not be able to do anything outside of firing from this location here. So I might not want to bring him in yet. Uh, we could go ahead and bring the mortar in, though, because he'll be able to fire immediately. So let's go ahead and bring the mortar in. So he can start firing on units to kind of help us out here. In fact, he might just try and take out... I will just lower his health a bit. And maybe just fire on him with this guy. Just to get him destroyed. Could go into the walls here. I don't know that we want to. There's not really much he can do over here. Let's go here. Uh, if we can fire on the, the big guns, then we're going to want to do that. Because I don't think this guy's been able to. So yeah, we'll take him out. Or try to. Let me do as much damage as we're, we're able to. And then fire at the uh, the ship. Just try and get these ships taken out, as they are the main threat right now. Should be able to shoot at this guy here. But we're putting him at risk. He could get destroyed by doing this. Maybe not, though, uh, because if we take him out, then it's irrelevant. Okay, so what you want to do then, let's have him come over here where he can fire and try and finish him off. Come on. So he should die. That's their line infantry. So we killed both of the units over here. There's only one land unit left. It's that one right there. So now we can focus our fire on the ships, try and get them destroyed. I think that's it over here. Yeah. And then we can't bring any more units in just yet. I assume they're going to want to move over this way to start firing on our units here. So that's a problem. But yeah, we got to get these guys taken out now. Uh, so we have to get them in a good position where they can fire. And any position where they can fire on them, they'll be able to fire back on us. Uh, so something to consider. We're going to lose units, guys. Uh, there's really no way around it, I don't think. And there's really not much else to do here. Probably just want to keep these any units that can't fire on them far away. Uh, it's only two units left to take out, but as you can see, we're not doing a lot of damage to them. So we're going to end our round here, let them fire at us, see if they can hit anybody, and which units they can hit, and how much damage they do. 
I assume they can hit that guy. Yeah. Oh, 23, that's that's not bad. Now they still have one land unit yet left. I assume he'll want to kill that cab unit. Maybe not. They're focusing fire on the one unit. Okay, so it's our turn again. And as you see, we're getting hit hard by these guys here. Uh, we can fire on him now. Eventually, we want to, uh, to move in here to open up a spot, but we're trying to take these guys out while we can. Save the life. This is going to save somebody's life if we can take these guys out this turn. Still got this guy as well. He's going to do a lot of damage, so let's not fire with him first if we can avoid it. Uh, he would have to come in here to fire on him, so you probably want to fire on that guy. So let's shoot at him first, so that way he can try and retreat. And yeah, we got quite a storm going on outside. So I guess we'll fire on him next. And then, uh, him. This guy's likely going to die if we keep him here, so you could put him behind the wall, but yeah, I'd prefer to destroy that guy. Can't kill him with this one or with this guy. And I don't think he can do enough damage, yeah, to really be worth it. These guys are pretty much useless at this point. Really not gonna be able to do anything with him. Could move this guy. Yeah, but if you move, you can't. Won't be able to shoot at him. Alright, so we just need to get one of these guys taken out. Could move him over here instead of taking him out. Yeah, it's such a bummer he can't kill him. So this guy would likely just die. To take out that ship. Is what it is. And then as far as who we're going to fire on, I suppose we'll fire on uh, this guy here. And I think that's it. Uh, we do have one more unit here, but I think he's already shot. Oh, he hasn't. Alright, so we're we'll going to shoot at him. Did a little bit of damage there. So now it's their turn. Uh, I assume... Oh. That guy fired on him, was it able to kill him? Okay. Now that was that really, really weak line infantry. But who did he fire on? Did he fire on him and I just missed it? He might have. Okay. Let's continue trying to get the we should be able to get this guy killed. I don't know why we wouldn't be able to get him killed. Okay, so not able to fire on anybody, so might as well. Go ahead and move in. I didn't realize we'd be able to hit him from here. Okay. So yeah, we could have brought him into this one. So now, in order to bring more units in, you gotta move the mortar. But if you move the mortar, then you're not able to fire with them, so. I guess it depends on if we can kill him or not. Because if we can kill him, then we're gonna wanna make sure we do that. So we'll fire with him. Let me see if he can't finish him off. Allowing the mortar to focus his fire on that unit. Because I'd prefer to wait to bring in the rest of the units until there's no more enemy threat. So let's fire on him now. It looks like we will not be able to kill him right now. Yeah, I don't think we're able to kill him. Uh, we still haven't fired with this guy yet, so we'll go ahead and do that. Alright. I don't think we'll kill him. Pretty close. But yeah, let's go ahead and just keep on fire, trying to get him as weak as possible here. I think everybody's fired, except for, obviously, the uh, samurai. So I think we're good to go. And let's just hope he's not able to kill this rifleman, or whoever he shoots at, with this final hit. He's going to shoot at this guy. Probably not the wisest way to go. He should have killed this guy, if he could. That is actually the end of the turn again. So tough, tough battle here, guys, trying to get the win here. Uh, but it looks like we should be able to win the battle. Yeah, I do expect we'll win the battle, but we did lose several units. As of right now, we've lost two. I don't think we'll lose any more. Yeah, I don't think we'll lose any more units. But we did lose two units, guys. So it doesn't happen often that we lose units in battle. So it is something of note. Just because of how rare it is for us. Let's have these guys come over. Oh, looks like we already moved them. Alright, so the elephant's ready to go into the sea. Uh, it should be well protected. We have all these units here. So let's go ahead and do that. Start moving them over there. The next turn. And then uh, over here. So one more turn, that'll be done. And then of course we already saw that over here this is not going to get done in time. 
since we lose next turn. And not able to propose another white piece, that'd be 5,760 points. So we will officially lose this war next turn, and we'll play up to that point, because I think that'd be a good ending point for the episode. So let's go ahead and get this guy moving here, and I'd like to finish that one battle as well. Although I'm not sure where we're going next. We could move them over here, but then you have all your fleets over here on this side, and everything happens over here, which we, we've got a pretty good relationship with this guy, but, you know, if something happens, then we might want a fleet over here. I think we should at least have a fleet protecting Constantinople and any harbors on this side of things. And maybe just have them here, just so you have a fleet on this side of the world, just in case. All right, so I'm not sure why he didn't move. Move, man. Huh. He's not wanting to do it. It's clearly saying he can. But he doesn't want to. Huh. I'm not sure why he won't move. That's weird. I'm not sure what was going on there. Uh, but we got the Research Institute over here. Excellent. Uh, we'll go ahead and build another one if we can. Yeah, we can get another one over here for 184. I guess we'll just do it at that location. Might be able to combine with these districts over here at some point. For more adjacency bonuses. I uh, got another market quarter over here. Excellent. Still no stability issues over here just yet. Uh, food's pretty good as well. Don't know how much that would generate. Probably not much. Yeah, it's not like a generator's player very much, but the 10% money would. Yeah, we'd get a good chunk of money there. So let's do that. I didn't even see that, that we hadn't done that here. Uh, so probably should. I got uh, another one of those ironclads built. We have to replace those units we lost. I don't know that we want to do a lion infantry though, because we're about to get it's four population, and we're about to get a new tech here. It's going to get us new units. So probably don't want to do that. I think we're going to do another elephant. Because elephants are awesome. Yeah, we're going to do another elephant. Gatlin elephant. Uh, this battle over here, we haven't done this round yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it looks like we can move... We should probably move the best units first. I want to make sure he can fire, so we're going to move nice and close. And yeah, they still haven't moved the musketmen out. They could move those musketmen out and then do a lot of damage to us. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be one unit firing at a time. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to hit these guys from anywhere but that location. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is going to be... Maybe if you just grab this point, yeah, maybe just grab the flag is the best way to do this. I was trying to kill these units here, but yeah, this is going to take way too long. And there's nowhere you can hit them from due to the train here. Maybe that's why he's decided not to move any units out. He's just trying to keep them alive. That's what I would assume. Yeah, really not much to do here outside of maybe moving units away that are really damaged. Trying to keep them away from the battle, I suppose. Yeah, there's really not much else to do here, so let's go and end the round. He'll fire on somebody. Uh, probably whatever ship we put right there. So what you'd want to do is like just alternate units. So they don't get too damaged. No unit gets particularly damaged. Like move him over here and then move like another one of these guys over here. Maybe one of your better ones might take the damage a little bit better. And I was gonna say if you could you could try moving back here to hit them, but it looks like that wouldn't work. So really, just do as much damage as possible to him. All of this is pretty irrelevant, though. Yeah. Because they're not going to win this way. Uh, so yeah, this is going to end around. We're doing about as, the same amount of damage to each other right now, guys. Yeah, this is a sorry final round to this battle here. So he fires on us one more time. And then we'll win because we took the flag. But he still has the units, which is what is important here. He did lose a lot of the units. He lost nine. We didn't lose any. Uh, that's a full land army that we were able to destroy, uh, plus an extra unit. Yeah, yeah, I know. They beat us. Executing your first ransack is not very friendly, but it's better to be the ransack. All right, so I don't know what we ransacked. We did that before, didn't we? Yeah, we'd already done that. Okay, uh, so Stockholm uh, has increased their population, 
Excellent. As has this location over here. You know what? We did not get these here. Uh, we could go ahead and use influence for that. I don't see why we wouldn't to get the oil well. And that'll get us our first oil. Uh, but then the other location is going to have to be built here in Cairo. And I'm wondering if it wouldn't be just best to, uh, to pay for it so we can hurry up and get it. Shouldn't it be too expensive, I don't think? Yeah, 4905, that's not that bad. So we're gonna eat that so that we'll have two oil sources. And that is what we needed to get a few different things upgraded. All right, so we're gonna lose this here. That's such a bummer, man. And yeah, we won't get this done in time. Just a real shame, a real shame, guys. Uh, we'll take that from them though. So I guess there's that. So let's go ahead and uh, end our turn, do the last turn here for the episode. I uh, got another agrarian star the population. Ransack. I wouldn't call it elegant. But I don't know why you keep getting the doors locked. This seems to be broken <laughs> because it fires every time you ransack. And something happened with the Germans here. Have a seat. Have a glass. Let's And Okay, this is the claim we want to renounce it. I don't hold These are our trade partners. In fact, I completely forgot that we had them as trade partner. We should have been using this money to trade with them this whole time. That would have been helpful. I just forgot we hadn't done all these yet. Uh, so we should. Uh, so let's go ahead and get his gold sources here. And then the last saffron. Since we have the money for that, that'll get us some food and more gold. Earning 4,663 gold per turn. So we we're forced to surrender. Are you serious, man? I thought you couldn't take cities if you didn't occupy them. How did he get all this and we won the war? Oh my god, this is frustrating, guys. We lost everything. We lost Stockholm and all the districts attached to it. And we lost our New World territory over here. Some of our New World territory. Wow. That was absolutely massive. Oh my god, that's so frustrating, guys. That hit us hard. Right in the middle of when we're trying to... Yeah, that is really frustrating, guys. That is the dumbest mechanic I've ever seen in the game before. <laughs> One of the dumbest mechanics. That they can seize all this from you, even though they did nothing in the war? Like, we took their only city. Wow. It makes you want to go immediately back to war with them, but that's not even possible because you don't have the uh, war support. Oh my god, guys, that is so bad. That hit us hard. Like, the amount of money we lost. Yeah, that is really frustrating, guys. Okay. It is what it is. We gotta get those guys out of here now, because they'll be taking damage the whole time. So, essentially, there's no other way to do this but to go to war with them immediately. As soon as you're able to. That is so frustrating, guys. That he just took that from us because... Yeah, just because. Yeah, that is really frustrating. I'm not happy about that, honestly. We're over here trying to have this big epic battle with somebody who actually matters, and then we lose a war with somebody who's completely irrelevant only because they're on the other side of the world, man. You're inching <sighs> your way towards ever greater renown. Can yeah, that's really frustrating, guys. I'm not happy about that at all. Success. I feel like we got ripped off there. Like, hardcore ripped off there, man. Uh, we're going to have these guys merge here. Yeah, that's like the type of rage quit type of thing for me, man. Like, that is really frustrating. If we weren't so close to the end here, I would probably rage quit for something like that. Because uh, that is irritating, man. Like, really irritating. That should not have happened that way. Yeah, it just feels like we got uh, kind of screwed over on that front. All right, well, let's go and get these guys over here so they'll start healing up. They take some damage. We'll let them heal. But yeah, that is really frustrating. We will go to war with him as soon as I can, guys, to take that territory back. And at the very least, you know you're going to get war support now. But what does he do? Like, he has all this stuff here from you. And, like, what does he use that for? What does he build with all that? You know what I mean? He could uh, potentially build quite a bit with that. We have a saltpeter here. We're not taking advantage here in Bangkok. Let me... I, I didn't know this was here. Is that... Oh, okay, that's an outpost that hadn't been added anywhere. That's the reason why. Okay, so we need to get that attached because we could use that saltpeter. But anyways, that, that is really frustrating, guys. Like, how did he take that much? Like, I wouldn't have been able to take that much even if I won the war. But he took all that. Like, he took a full city that he didn't have occupied. Which, by the way, you're not allowed to take cities unless you occupy them. Like, that's what it does for me. And that's the rules I have to play with. And then he took 
two territories over here, and then uh, well, at least one territory right here. I don't know if it got anything else from us. I don't think so. It seemed like there was more to it. Maybe this is more territories than I thought. I don't know, it seemed like he got a lot more than that, but still, like, how did he take that much? He, how did he have the war support for that? It's just ridiculous, guys. That doesn't make any damn sense. Very frustrating. I'm not happy about it. Uh, but again, nothing really to be done about it. Oh, okay, so that's right. He took this city. I see, so now we can attack him here. Okay, yeah, I didn't realize that. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get these guys in our own territory then. So that we can get these these guys upgraded. Oh, damn it. The whole army needs to go in their own territory. So we can get these guys upgraded, and then we'll uh, attack right there. Okay, I didn't realize that was a city that he took. All right, so we definitely want to do that. We'll go ahead and ransack all these for the money. Might as well. This army's not doing anything else. So might as well do it before they turn into ruins. I don't think we're going to be able to finish this battle in this uh, episode, guys, because this is already uh, the end here. Uh, but yeah, very frustrating end to this. Uh, as far as when we'll be able to attack him, because I'm going to attack him as soon as possible. Uh, we don't have any anything increasing this, so you're only going up by plus two. He'll go up by plus two as well. So you'd have to do another surprise war, which you can't do until you're at 20 war support. So it would be 10 turns before we'll be able to attack him. And then do you want to attack with such low war support? I don't know. That's risky. We'll need two armies to do that attack effectively. Uh, while we want to grab this over here, I think we're going to move this army in preparation to to attack over here. Uh, let's see how we want to do this. I guess we'll attack from right this way. But yeah, this is, is super frustrating, guys. Because yeah, now he has all the buildings that we had here, all the, the fences. Like, yeah. it's yeah, So you're seeing that he's got 70 uh, you know, fortification here because that's our city. So yeah, just... That, that did not go uh, the way I thought it would go. It went pretty bad, actually. It doesn't make any sense, because I thought you couldn't take cities. Uh, that, again, it feels like the AI is playing by different rules here uh, with the peace treaty. That's the first war I've ever lost in this game, so I didn't know... I've never lost a war in this game before. Yeah, I guess I just assumed that the AI would have to play by the same rules as we do when it comes to the peace treaties, but apparently not. They get to take whatever they want, and uh, I guess that's less points for them, too. Uh, yeah, that's really strange. Anyways, it is what it is, guys. <laughs> Nothing to be done about it. Just attack them and take all that territory back. <sighs> Just frustrating uh, because, you know, we're over here trying to fight Brazil and, and now we're distracted. I get, that's another war that's 10 turns from now. It's it's devastating, guys. Uh, think about all the population we lost here. All the I mean, just everything we lost. The gold, the, the uh, science, everything we lost from losing Stockholm. Think about what he'll be able to do with that. We're just empowering him. Yeah, that was a pretty big uh, hit for us, guys. Really, really negative overall. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a real shame. But uh, nothing to be done about it uh, other than to get revenge. Uh, so we'll, we'll try and do that. But yeah, that's definitely kind of a rage quit moment for me. I'm pretty irritated now. Uh, but hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching.